For Christmas 2023, things were a little bit different for the Baldwin family. In exchange for gifts that may just be more stuff that we don't need, we went east to the Smoky Mountains, and of course, we got some time in at Dollywood. It's always nice to see Klondike KD192, or in our particular case, Cinderella 70 still working today, taking happy visitors to Dollywood up and down the mountain at all hours of the day. And come on, who can resist enjoying the sound of those 282s as they blow the whistle? It's just beautiful. But as much as we enjoyed our time out east, we journeyed back west on Christmas Eve to make it in time for Christmas, and I arrived back home in Hendersonville, Tennessee, right around 10.50 a.m. My wife was going to the Tennessee Titans football game with her family, and with an evening free, I was setting up to Railfan, the CSX mainline sub in Hendersonville. But first, I was hungry, so I pulled into my local Culver's to pick up a burger. Little did I know then, but I was a little too late to catch a good northbound train as it raced through town as I could barely see it in the drive through lane. It must have been a good one because it had two DPUs in the consist. Regardless, even if I had not stopped for food, there's no way I would have been set up in time to catch this one. So I made the right choice to grab food before driving into Drake's Creek Park to set up to grab my first catch of the day. I enjoyed my burger, admired the peaceful sights and sounds of Drake's Creek Park, and the weather on this day was definitely very pleasant for it to be Christmas Eve, with the sun shining and plenty of reasons to be glad to be outside. But after a while, it became obvious that I may have just missed the last train through Hendersonville for quite a while, and it almost seemed to be a better day to go plane spotting instead. But then finally, while I was quite literally messaging another rail fan about a new place I should go watch at, I nearly missed my catch as I saw yellow lights shining my way as a southbound train was headed my way.
after that train passed through Hendersonville, I needed to go to the grocery store and pick up some items. And as soon as I was done, I loaded up and traveled to the north end of a very popular rail fan spot, the Nashville National Cemetery, where a northbound manifest was tied down for a little while for priority trains to pass through before he could pass. Being Christmas, the cemetery made sure that all graves were marked with a very special Christmas wreath for each of these fallen veterans of Memorial Stone. Before I could even think to admire the northbound train parked in front of me, it was time to be ready as a southbound intermodal train made its way through.
As soon as this one passed, I knew it would not be long before we'd get some more action, as a signal ahead indicated approach medium, and only about 20 minutes later, a northbound intermodal passed through with a very friendly crew giving me a horn salute as they rolled through.
Afterwards, I would have loved to have stayed longer, as the signal now was showing approach limited, so this northbound train was definitely being followed, and I may not have been far off as another person had pulled up, staying in their car, but I saw he had a scanner, which meant there was possibly something really cool coming that he wanted to see. I'm curious what it was, but by 4.30, I was losing daylight, and I had family plans to get to for Christmas Eve. So until the next chance I get to catch trains, that was all for my Christmas Eve rail fitting adventure in and around the Nashville, Tennessee area. One thing is certainly for sure after this, I learned just how limited my stretch of the main line sub really is. We may get 10 to 15 trains, sometimes more in a 24 hour period, but this stretch by the cemetery will certainly be a place I need to return to and I definitely intend to be back now as I found out just in a very short period that this stretch gets a lot of heavy train traffic. I do have lots of love for my shots in Hendersonville along the main line sub and the quick access to home, but it's time to get out more often to see more trains. If you enjoyed this rail fanning video, then I invite you to leave a like on this video and subscribe to Danaby Trains for more great content here on this channel. And especially if you like CSX trains and trains in the state of Tennessee. Until next time we see each other, this has been Danny B, and I hope you have a great day. Bye guys. Four years and 1400 miles. Between us, seven numbers I just can't forget on my screen. Different paths, broken tracks, led us off the same road. And somehow you found your way to Nashville, Tennessee. You said you're coming back for me. I said, won't you get out? Of my town, you know I'm not your puzzle piece. You're just another.